Welcome to another Happy English Podcast coming to you from New York City. And here's your English teacher, Michael. All right. Thank you, John, and thanks, everyone. This is Happy English Podcast, episode 552, 10 Idioms Using Deal. Hey guys, it's Michael here from Happy English, and I help people speak English better. September is here, and some cool, comfortable fall air has worked its way to New York. I really love this season, and I hope that the fall air chases the bugs away. This summer has been awful in terms of bugs. Too many mosquitoes. Speaking of bugs, the corona bug is still hanging around, so masks up everyone. Hey, do you want to get more out of this podcast? Why not get the transcript package? You get word-for-word transcripts plus all of the MP3 audio files for the first 550 podcasts. And free lifetime updates every time there are 25 new podcasts. So it's a one-time purchase. Get yours at myhappyenglish.com. Today, we're going to look at the word deal and the various idioms that use deal. Are you ready? Let's check it out. First, listen to this story which has all of the deal idioms. Joe wants to buy Jen's old car, so he asked her what the deal was with the car. At first, she said the deal was the fact that it's her first car, so it has sentimental value. Joe knows that's a big deal for Jen, but he really wants to buy it. So he asked her if they could cut a deal. Jen hesitated because they're friends. It's such an old car and it may start having problems. Big deal, said Joe. I can deal with fixing cars. Besides, a 1972 Chevy is the real deal. Jen thought about it and then said that she wouldn't make a big deal out of the age of the car. Maybe that's no big deal. Then, Joe offered a $1,000 cash for the car. Jen was excited. It's a deal, she said, and finally, they have a done deal. First of all, the deal means the situation. When you want to know the situation, you can ask, what's the deal? Or, what's the deal with... When you want to tell someone about a situation, you can say, here's the deal. Here are some examples. What's the deal with the noise downstairs? Oh, that's right. They started a construction project. Here's something that the sales boss might say. Okay, here's the deal. If everyone reaches the sales target, then everyone will get a bonus. Something that is a big deal is an important thing or important to someone. For example, it wasn't an expensive pen, but losing it is a big deal to me. My grandfather gave it to me. Hey, Joe, you know, getting married is a big deal, so you need to think it over seriously. On the other hand, something that is no big deal is not a problem or is easy to do. For example, can you drive me to the station? Sure. No big deal. It's on the way to my house. Hey, it's no big deal for me to cook dinner tonight. You've had a tough day. When someone makes a big deal out of something, they exaggerate the importance of something. In other words, they make a small, unimportant issue seem very big. For example... What's the boss making a big deal about? I was just two minutes late for work. I can't believe it. The president said that the doctors are making a big deal out of COVID-19. We also use the standalone phrase, big deal, said without a or no. Big deal. Big deal. Big deal. Big deal means I don't care. 
We often say this when we get a reply from someone that we are not satisfied with or not happy with. For example, the boss offered a 1% pay raise? Ha! Big deal. Joe just got a BMW? Big deal. I have a Benz. Next, when you cut a deal, you make an agreement with someone or an agreement to do something. Here are some examples. I cut a deal to buy her car. Here's something you might hear before a meeting. I hope we can cut a deal with this client. We need the business. When you deal with something or someone, you handle or manage something that is difficult or not pleasant. Here are some examples. The shop manager had to deal with a lot of angry customers when they sold out of the on-sale items. Ugh, the CEO is going to visit the office next week. I am not in the mood to deal with him. When something or someone is the real deal, it is a person or thing that is superior or impressive among all of the others. For example, among other places in America, the pizza in New York City is the real deal. According to many fans of Star Wars, Luke Skywalker is the real deal. Next, when you want to tell someone that you agree with them, you can say, it's a deal. Here are some examples. So, the next meeting is on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Is that okay? Yeah, it's a deal. All right, how about this? I'll buy the ingredients and you bake the apple pie. It's a deal. And finally, when something is a done deal, it has been finalized or decided. Here are some examples. Okay, it's a done deal. I've asked her to marry me and she said yes. Well, it's a done deal. We bought the house and we can move in on October 1st. Well, that's our English lesson for today. I hope that wasn't too much to deal with. If you want to read the examples in this lesson or get word-for-word -word transcripts of the Happy English Podcast, just visit MyHappyEnglish.com and check Lesson 552. Thanks for studying, and I'll see you next time at Happy English. Catch you later. This podcast is brought to you by Happy English. Please visit MyHappyEnglish.com. Show your support for Happy English by leaving us a review. Get English. Get happy. Happy English.